Hello, my name is Piotr Starzyński and I will show you how to implement Google Analytics 4 into your website through Google Tag Manager tool. Let's start from creating an account, Google Analytics account. We can use a Google account or simply Gmail account. Okay, let's call it demo. Now we need to provide a property name. Usually I use a domain name here. And also a time zone. Okay, if we want to use uh, old universal analytics, uh, we should uh, follow this option, show advanced option. Uh, we don't need it now. Okay, let's create an account. Let's accept the terms. Because uh, GA4 can collect um, data from different platforms like Android app, iOS, iOS or uh, your website. So let's stay with a website. We need to we need to provide to fill a website URL. Let's use our example URL and a stream name. And here usually I use the, the same domain name. We can also um, set up some auto uh, events that uh, are gonna collect. Uh, usually I simply turn it off because of optimi optimization stuff. But now let's, for now let's simply save it and stay with default options. Let's create a stream. Uh, after creating the stream, we, uh, we will uh, we will see a measurement ID, and this is really important stuff. Uh, we we have also a basic uh, manual how to put uh, codes into your website, different different approaches. But we today we use uh, Google Tag Manager. It's the simplest way. In my opinion, let's copy the measurement ID. And now uh, we're gonna go to Google Tag Manager. We also need to create an account here if you don't have one. Uh, demo account, container setup, and the same we use a domain name here. Uh, domain name here. Uh, we're gonna use it for a website. Also accepting the terms. And uh, now uh, we got some codes that we need to paste into your website. Mm, we can we can do it in many ways. Uh, some uh, plugins can do it for you, or you can just put this code uh, into your HTML. Mm, we're gonna use the second approach. So we can we can do it uh, via, for example, CMS like WordPress, uh, pasting it here into the team file editor, or we can use uh, file transfer protocol client. I will use the the second approach. So I opened a header PHP file, and I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna add this code. Usually I added the first one after Charles set setup and the second one uh, should be placed just after uh, the opening body tag. Okay, I did it. I haven't uploaded it yet because I wanted to show you uh, how to debug e if we placed it in a correct way or if we uh, placed it 
okay here's the the plugin for Chrome browser uh, it's called Google Tag Assistant we can enable it for this site and let's see as we can see there is no result of tag analysis because the, uh, there is no any tag for now uh, I'm gonna and now I'm gonna upload the new file header file with our codes of uh, GTM okay it's ready so let's simply refresh the site and here it is as you can see we have a Google Tag Manager with this code for now we have only GTM container code but mm, nothing inside it actually so now it's time to copy the measurement ID and provide a tag okay let's create a new tag uh, it's it's really nice if you follow some patterns of names I use uh, it like this j4 page view and the type of uh, tag is of course a GA4 configuration we're gonna send a page view event as well as soon as, as this tag will start let's paste here a measurement ID and we need to set up a triggering for now we, we, we don't uh, we don't set up any constant, constant mode or any constant tool that can manage uh, user constant so let's choose all pages and save it simply save it don't forget to to submit it to uh, to publish submit and then publish our GTM I'm not gonna use a version here uh, for now yeah it's done it's published already so let's refresh our site and see what happens here okay we have GTM code and let's see what what is going here into the uh, reports into the reports okay I just refreshed it one, once again and I got this you see mm. don't bother with this uh, info because GA4 is not fully supported by this plugin uh, anyway let's go to real time and see if uh, anything is here already okay we need to wait for real time report if we want to set up some triggers some more tags for example to collect uh, event data for example if someone submitted a form or clicked an email clicked a phone uh, we need to set up some more triggers and some possibly some more variables and some more tags to just a second let's see if it's loaded already okay let's visit some some address pages yeah we can see it we can see some views okay so uh, if you want if we want to set up some more event we need to create a tag here 
uh, this this time we need a GA4 event and we need to use a configuration we already set up GA4 page view and an event name it's also possible to use uh, event parameters or user parameters and of course we need to select a trigger for this event okay let's yeah we can see this user for now and also it's decided with it thank you thanks a lot we today we configured uh, g4 via google tag manager uh, if you like to see more videos and possibly you need some help uh, you can contact me via piotrstarzyński.com if you have any question feel free to ask thank you thanks for today and a uh, good day Thanks.